Hello everyone, in this preview I'm going to show you the basic workflow of working with Replicant projects on environment. So in the start menu we're going to go to new project, a starting project, and we're not going to select any environment, and we're going to create. So we have our template project, and as you can see we have in the template project some assets inside of the environment folder. We will explain this in a bit. First, let's go to file. I'm here to conclude a new project. Load projects from any folder or some of the demo projects that we provide. So you can always browse in your computer and search for whatever project you have there. Then you can load FreeSend. This will basically show the last project that you work on. You can save them, of course, and save incremental that will create a new file every time with a incremental number in the name. So very handy for iterations without losing previous versions. And then you can load and delete environments. So basically what this does is delete the environment will delete anything inside this folder and load environment will replace whatever is inside the environment folder in your project with the incoming project. So for example, if we choose the integration one, we can load it. The characters are the same. Everything outside the environment folder is the same. The only thing that we have changed is basically one environment for another. So let's uh, add this bucket here and let's place it in the head like this. Now this bucket is outside of the environment folder. If we load a new environment like this one you can see that the bucket this is still in the project it has no finished the place but if i move this into the environment now it's considered this asset part of the environment and you guess it if i load any other project like a simple dome for example now the bucket is gone so that way you can have specific things for the project, like the animation, cameras, avatars, etc. And you can quickly change environments. Also, you can create your own environments. Let's say you like this environment. Very simple. Right? And you grab these things, move into the environment folder, and you can, you, as you can see, you can save as an environment to save the project as it is. So uh, let's call this test. Sit one and save it. Now, if I create a new project, from scratch, empty. So I have nothing, only the template. I can know that environment. Yes, a project. Browse. And let me find the test, open it. And now I have load uh, whatever was inside my my project, but I can also load it as a project and it's here in JSON. I can load the entire project, which also contain the characters. So basically you have a bit more control over what you want to load. If you want to keep the environment in a different place than the characters or even the lighting and animation, the entire timeline. So it's easier to swap the environments with affecting 
your characters, etc. So those are the basics of working with uh, Gerplikan projects on environment. I hope you find this uh, video useful and we will showcase more tools in the future. Bye.